Help, I fell down the well! Hi guys, welcome back to Paranormal Residence. So in today's video we are exploring and investigation Kilcooley Abbey in Tipperary. So we're going to have a look around, explore, do a spirit box and some ghost tube. Before we do, make sure you to like and subscribe. I would love to have you part of the Paranormal Resident family. So yeah, let's get into it. Welcome back to Paranormal Resident. In today's video I bring you to Kilcooley Abbey. Kukuli Abbey is close to the village of Gortnahoe in Tipperary, Ireland. The abbey dates back to 1182. Donal Moore O'Brien granted the land to the Cistercians. The abbey is a sister house to both Jerpoint Abbey and Holy Cross. The Cistercians were an order of monks. They had a huge impact on Ireland when they arrived building over 33 monastic sites, they quickly became very successful and rich as their monasteries littered the Irish countryside. Unusually, the abbey was not built beside any water source. It is believed they used underground streams, which was highly unusual for the time. Some of these streams still exist to this day. In 1463, the abbey was attacked and burnt down. The abbot at the time was called Philip O'Lolan. After the place was attacked, he fled to England to look for political support and funds to rebuild. Most of what we see today is the outcome of this rebuild. Residence, this is our first location of 2020. So let's go inside, explore, let's do a spirit box and investigate the many monks that haunt the Abbey. Before we do, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to share this video. Here we go. Okay guys, now the history is out of the way, we're going to have a look in here. It's absolutely stunning. Look at the detail on the holy water font. Oh wow. It reminds me a lot guys of the Rock of Cashel. Oh look at the monk. Or the priest, I suppose. Oh, look at the knight. So there's a knight buried here. Look at the chain mail and the detail. Oh, wow. And look, his dog is in here too. I'd love to know what that says, but it's all in Latin. Um, I'll try research that guys, but um, look at the detail going all around the coffin. It's just stunning. And we have another coffin over here. Look at that window. And oh, the detail. So on top of this is um, Oh, it's like a big cross, but all Latin, I think. Would that be Latin? I think I see a date there, 01282. This would have been all detailed as well. Oh, guys. That must have been the same people who built the Rock of Cashel because the detail is just unbelievable. Such a hidden gem. Oh, there's loads of places to explore. Um, we have another holy water fount. God, you can feel the history in here. We have more detailed tombstones. We have this amazing carved wall. So we'll go in here and have a look. Oh, wow. So, two little fireplaces or two little nooks. Um, probably where the priests would have got ready for mass, maybe. But look, at the plaster is still on the ceiling. And I'm sure them ceilings would have been painted. Stunning. 
stop. I can go upstairs. Oh, cool. Oh, is there a gate up here? If there's a gate up here, I'm gonna be very pissed off. Son of a bitch. Well, I can give you guys a look at the courtyard, which is pretty cool. Um, okay, I'm gonna stick you guys in there. Oh, if my phone falls, I'll be so mad. Um, I'm not sure if you can see much, guys. But, um, yeah, we'll try look a bit further down this direction. Okay, guys. Just down the stairs. You can't go up to the top floor, which is a bit of a shame. But, um, look at the detail. I know I get a bit obsessed with detail, guys, but, um, it's something that I love seeing. Like, the artwork that goes into it. It's just incredible. So this place has been shut down because of fallen masonry, which is just a shame. Um, that's the courtyard out there. But um, sadly, can't access that either. But I got into the main part, which I'm happy about. I'm not gonna complain. But yeah, guys, I think it's time for a spirit box. Okay, guys, so I'm here in the main chapel area and I'm gonna go into one of the little nooks where it's less windy and noisy. And I'm gonna switch on the spirit box and see what comes through. So if there's any spirits here and you wanna communicate with me, my name's Kieran. I mean you no harm. I come with the utmost respect and all I wanna do is talk to you, learn a bit about your history. So yeah, come and say hello through this little box that's gonna make a bit of noise. Don't be afraid of it. Use the frequencies and communicate with me. Try and say my name. That would be really cool. So um, here we go. Okay guys, so I just switched on the spirit box. Um, I'm just gonna on the spirit box. Um, I'm just gonna I just switched on the spirit box. Um, I'm just gonna try and turn it up. So I'm just literally at the altar. I'm calling out to the spirits of Kilcooley Abbey. If you're here with me now, can you come and say hello? Calling out to any spirits that may still be here. If you're here, can you say my name? Am I welcome here? You're outside. You're outside. You're outside. Are you not allowed in? In. Allowed in. There's any holy men here?
Do you like people come to come visit? Sir Germain Alexander, are you here? Are you here? Are you here? something like I just heard something like I just heard something like rumble in there in the park in the park in the Spirits, are we a spirits? Are we a spirits? Are we supposed to communicate with you? Believer. Do you know my name? I'm named after a saint. Can you say it? Say it. Say it. Call me Mary. My name's Kieran. Can you say Kieran? Can you tell me how many spirits haunt this place? Is it true this place is haunted? Hi. Hi. Where would you like me to go? I'm a kid, 
Did. Are you here in the back room? Do you have anything else you want to say to me? Okay guys, so I'm just going to switch over to Ghost Tube and see what comes through. Spirit Box was a bit quiet today, but that can happen. Um, there was a few voices that come through, but always it's not till I listen back and it's when I really get to hear the stuff that I want to hear. <laughs> um, but you know, they're not performing monkeys. So um, let's um, switch over to Ghost Tube, see what comes through. Okay guys, so we're on Ghost Tube. I'm going to turn you guys around and see what comes through. Okay guys, so EMF seems to be hopping up a bit. So I'm calling out to any spirits that are here in Kilcooley Abbey. If you're here and you'd like to come and say hello, can you use the word dictionary and choose a word for me? Change the environment around me, come close, put your hand on the phone, on this thing in my hand, and um, make the proximity meter go off. Calling out to any spirits who are here with me now to come and say hello. So guys, this place reminds me big time of the Rock of Cashel, but the fact it's just completely isolated, there's nobody around. Like, there was no way I could have done a spirit box session in the Rock of Cashel when I did visit. But here is the next best thing. And um, I actually really prefer this place than the Rock of Cashel because the engravings are more interesting. The um, architecture is spectacular. So um, what I'm going to do is head on over- Michelle. Michelle. I'm going to head on over to this altar and it has all these seems to be like to me it's like the tarot cards so if you look here this man has keys fair enough this man has swords then we have the wand then we have the cup then we have a spear um, this man, I'm not sure what he's holding, it seems to have broken off. This man is holding food. Um, this man seems to be holding a knife. This man's holding a staff. And this man is holding some type of, um, looks like a big tooth, <laughs> whale tooth or um, sword of some description. I don't know if there's nothing on this side, but... This is the burial place of a knight. Um, well, it looks like a knight. I'm pretty sure it was. He has been defaced, but um, his body is in amazing condi condition. You can see his sword strapped to his chest. Um, you can see the chain mail. And he has his little friend down here, which looks like a little doggy. Um, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, it does look like a dog. Um, but it could be symbolism for something else, like he slayed a beast or something like that. But he seems to be stepping on it, which is so cool. So I'm calling out to the spirit of the person who's buried here. If you are here, and this is your amazing tomb, look at the pillows made out of the stone. Um, can you come and say hello and give me a word? So I'm guessing this area here, um, I'm not sure if that would have been the main altar where Anthony's standing there. And then down this direction, maybe the congregation would have sat here. But these little things that are jutting out of the wall tells me that there was many more floors. So this could have been just where they lived. Um, I think that's a large window, that could be a fireplace. It's hard to tell with these buildings, but up there is the bell tower. So you can go up the stairs, but it's all locked up 
in that room there because it's unsafe, but I don't think we're supposed to be actually inside the chapel itself. Um, but the gate was open, so you know me, guys. But um, yeah, Ghost Tube is very quiet, which is unusual. So if you can, come and say hello. Albert. Albert. Hello, Albert. I think his name was on the plaque. Will you check that for me, Ed? So you can hear as you're walking around, guys, the vaults underneath. There's no way you could get into it. I'm guessing they accessed it from here because you can see this is new stonework um, and they would have went down into the vaults. There would be loads of tunnels underneath this place where they, were, they would have stored their food maybe or their treasures, basically like a dungeon. Um, this place would have been fortified. It's a castle basically, um, the way the fortification goes. Um, it's incredibly old. It's an incredibly good nick for what it is. And it's just a shame that it's not more accessible to the public. Um, like look at the carvings. But even this here, so you would have entered to go into mass here. You would have blessed yourself here in the holy water font. You would have kept it moving and then you would be out. Haunted. Haunted. Albert, do you haunt this place? Can you come close? Can you come close and say hello? So EMF is going up, guys. I think there's somebody around me. But you Graveyard. Can... Oh, the graveyard. We're going to head over to the graveyard after this. Um, and there's a big manor house there. But um, it looks like someone tried to break in here and bent the bar. Obviously, they got in. <laughs> um, it wouldn't have been that difficult. But to see, um, these windows are usually always destroyed. Um, especially with um, when the churches around here, it was called Reformation, would have occurred. Albert, where would you like me to go? Where would be uh, easier to communicate? 33. Are you 33 years old? So this is the plan, aerial view of Kilcooley Abbey. So we're in this section here and we walked in here as well. Um, there's also- Murdered. Murdered. Okay. So there would have been living accommodation such as Mary and St. John attending the crucifixion and St. Christopher crossing a river with an infant. I wonder what this is here. The mermaid. Mermaid with comb and mirror east window. Oh, I can see the comb now, yeah. It's incredible. So it's owned by the OPW. So the Office of Public Works which take care of Ireland's historical buildings, but I, I might add, not that greatly. But, um, yeah, guys, I think I'm going to end the ghost tube session there. Car. And, oh. Are you at our car? <laughs> Are you going to follow us home? Well, you can come and have a look, but don't cause us any trouble, okay? Poor. Po Are you calling us poor? <laughs> You dissing our car. Oh, now you start talking. The minute I say, okay, guys, we're going to end it there. You start up. Is there anything else you want to say before I go? Yeah, 
Okay guys, thanks so much for watching Paranormal Resident. This has been an awesome location to kickstart 2020. So yeah, make sure you like, subscribe, and um, you can follow me on Instagram at Paranormal Resident. You can follow me on Facebook at Paranormal Resident Ireland and at Twitter at Paranormal Resident. So yeah, actually it's Paranormal Resi, but you know, I'll be there, look me up. And yeah, Definitely make sure you leave a like. I'm so happy that we reached 1,000 subscribers. It kind of blew me away. I'm at 1,030 something subscribers and it means the world to me, guys. It's been a long time and yeah, thanks. Scarlet! <laughs> okay, until next time. Bye. Oh shit, bye.